So here we have the Mini Countryman on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. So the tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can do that from the key or you can do it from the tailgate itself. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors. This car's also got a reversing camera. Plenty of boot space along with three individually folding rear seats should you wish to increase the space even further. And then underneath this tray section, we have a really nice, clever extra. If you give this a pull, we have a seating area that will sit on that rear bumper for you. Uh, so that's a really nice extra. This car also has front and rear uh, dash cams as well. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer in the middle and the fuel gauge on the right-hand side. Also in the middle there, you can see the total miles of the car, which are 19,949. You can change your information displayed directly above that by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various bits of trip computer information. You can also have a digital readout for the speedometer displayed there as well. Speaking of which, this car also has a heads up display. So just above that, you can see, it's a little hard to see on camera, but we have the speedometer for the car displayed in front of you there as well. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have cruise control and speed limiter on the left-hand side. We have stereo and phone controls on the right-hand side. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair the phone up, which is done on the stereo in the center. So just over here, uh, we have the main stereo system. We can access the main menu, uh, all of the movement you see me making at the moment is done using this dial and the collection of buttons that surround it. Uh, so for example, if you press the menu button, you'll be on the main menu, but also it will work as a touchscreen as well. So this is where you would pair up your phone, for example. We can go back to the main menu with one push of that menu button. This is where you'll listen to your uh, music. If I hit the right button, that's where you'll listen to your music in the car. Uh, we have DAB and FM radio. We've also got Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly. Uh, and we have USB input as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. And we have satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how this system works on both our website and on our YouTube channel. As you can see, really nice, clear color display there. And I mentioned that this car had a reverse camera as well, uh, which you can see just there. It also has guidelines that show you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image that's being shown on the screen for you. Working our way down from there, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine where you like the air to be distributed once it enters the car. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns your air conditioning off in this case or back on again, or hit auto. And in doing so, the car will now maintain the temperatures that you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed and the direction of the air as well. Press auto again, you'll go back onto your previous setting. Uh, we've got a heated driver seat with three different heat settings and the same over on that passenger side. Down here, we can turn off the traction control, start and stop the engine, turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is off at the moment. And this one will turn the parking sensors on and off. We have a 12 volt charging socket and USB input, and then the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.